learning targets. Woof. By the end of this video, woof, you will be able to woof, locate the Tokugawa shogunate and describe how geography influenced their interactions with other nations. Woof. Explain how the Tokugawa shogunate woof, reacted to contact with European imperialists. Woof. Describe how the Tokugawa shogun unified, stabilized, and centralized Japan with the woof, feudal system. It's the Global History Show with Mr. Benjamin. This episode, the Tokugawa Shogunate. It's a Global History Show. Geographic Context. Japan is a mountainous archipelago off the coast of East Asia. An archipelago is a chain of islands. No man is an island. <laughs> yeah, but my friend, Archie Pelago, he comes pretty close. Japan is separated from Korea and China by the Sea of Japan and the East China Sea. This allows Japan to selectively borrow, culturally diffuse, technological and cultural influences from Korea and China, or to separate themselves, isolate from outside influences. Japan selectively borrowed Zen Buddhism and Confucianism from China. Japan adapted Chinese writing characters to create Japanese writing. When European traders reached Japan, they were welcomed. Japanese daimyo wanted access to European trade goods, but this welcome did not last. Spain and Portugal brought Catholic missionaries to Japan who worked to convert Japanese people to Roman Catholicism. Europeans also brought muskets. Many daimyo purchased guns and cannons to gain an advantage over rivals in conflicts over land. European guns! One daimyo was quoted as saying, in their hands they carried something two or three feet long, straight on the outside with a passage inside, and made of a heavy substance. This thing, with one blow, can smash a mountain of silver and a wall of iron. If one sought to do mischief in another man's domain, and he was touched by it, he would lose his life instantly. <laughs> would lose his life instantly. Soon, Japanese artisans began making guns. The Europeans scorned Japanese culture, saw Japanese culture as inferior. The use of muskets and cannons disrupted the traditional power structure of the samurai warriors who used swords and bows. The shogun began to view this foreign influence as a threat to his rule. Then, when regional peasant revolts took place, in provinces with many Catholic converts, the shogun was convinced of the danger of foreign influence. In the 1630s, the shogun announced three exclusion edicts, which led to a complete ban on Christianity and restrictions on international trade. Many Christian missionaries were killed and the rest were driven out of Japan. The shogun policy of self-imposed isolation was called Sakoku, or closed country. Under Sakoku, most commercial contact with Europeans ended. One port, Nagasaki, remained open to foreign traders, with only Dutch, Chinese, and Korean merchants allowed. Any Japanese people who were overseas or who left Japan were not allowed back. <laughs> not allowed back in your own country? This closed country policy lasted for 200 years, with Japan frozen in a state of feudalism as rapid technological progress continued beyond their borders. The Tokugawa Shogun also outlawed guns, collecting and melting down all the guns in the country. The challenge that guns posed to the power of the samurai was removed. To understand the historical context of the Tokugawa Shogunate, we must first explain how the Shogunate came to be. Japan was ruled from the 700s to the 1100s by the Yamato clan. The Yamatos ruled Japan as emperors and were believed to be descendants from the sun goddess in the Japanese religion, Shintoism. Then local warlords, daimyo, fought for control of territory within Japan, shattering the unity of the Yamato empire during the warring state period. The emperor maintained his position as a symbolic religious figure, but the real power belonged to the warlords, or daimyo. Over time, Japan was united by the Tokugawa daimyo, who claimed the title shogun 
in 1603. A shogun was a hereditary military dictator and an example of absolutism. Shogun! A shogunate is like a kingdom. Tokugawa was the family name or dynasty of the shogun who was now in control of United Japan. The Tokugawa shogunate was a centralized feudal system. Feudalism is a system of government in which land is exchanged for loyalty and military service. At the top of the social hierarchy was the emperor. But remember, the emperor was only a symbolic leader. In real terms, the shogun had all the authority to rule. Below the shogun are various groups of daimyo. Daimyo control the provinces that make up the shogunate. The daimyo who are descended from the Tokugawa and daimyo who allied with the Tokugawa to unite Japan had the most power and were given the most important provinces. Daimyo who were subjugated, forced to join the shogunate, had less power. Below the daimyo were samurai who served the shogun and daimyo. Samurai were the warrior class. Most of the people were peasant farmers, and at the bottom were the artisans and the merchants. The Tokugawa shogun moved the capital to the city of Edo, which is now Tokyo. The castle at Edo became the center of power and wealth for the Tokugawa shogunate. In order to ensure the loyalty and obedience of the daimyo and samurai, the Tokugawa shogun used Sankin Kote, requiring that daimyo spend every other year living in unfortified houses in the capital, Edo. Daimyo returned to their provinces on the off year. Sankin Kote means alternate attendance system. The shogun required that the daimyo bring his family to live in Edo. When the daimyo returned to his province, his family would remain in Edo as hostages of the shogun. <laughs> hostages? This was to prevent the daimyo from taking any action of defiance against the shogun. Japan, being an archipelago, was enabled to welcome or reject outside influence. European trade introduced new technology, guns, into Japan, which along with Christianity, threatened traditional Japanese practices. The Tokugawa Shogun implemented a closed country policy, rejecting progress in the form of westernization in favor of maintaining Japanese traditions. The Tokugawa Shogun used the alternate attendance system to ensure the obedience of regional daimyo, keeping family members of the daimyo hostage. Me, a hostage for the Shogun? <coughs> Wait, I'm not a daimyo or a samurai. A daimyo is rebelling against me. It's a 